Thank you so much for watching HSN. I'm your host, Helen Keeney, and nope, this is not my hair. I've got a Gabor wig on. This whole hour, we're gonna be talking about these gorgeous styles. 52 years of making wigs for celebrities, movie stars, and women just like you and I. Since 1969, starting out with like the most glamorous. I mean, I will tell you, it, having worked in front of the camera, since I was 17 years old. That's many, many decades, over 40 years I've worked in front of the camera. Almost every woman I know does some kind of hair piece or w something wig. I will tell you right now, seven show hosts wear wig on camera all the time. I Yes, that's right, I'm not even gonna reveal who they are and you don't even know it because they look so great because we are tired of doing our hair all the time. We don't wanna pay to have our roots done every six weeks or if we have a short haircut. We don't wanna have to get it cut and if we miss if we miss one haircut that our hair looks like a disaster this is the easiest thing to do and I think more and more women are wearing them in everyday life just everyday life not just like oh I'm gonna have a wig just in case just in our everyday life so we're gonna start out with our first wig and it is called love I'm gonna give you a little tour love is a short design and I, I right away you can see how natural and all the different pretty colors when when you get a Gabor wig, you get you open up the box and inside is a little cap that you put over your natural hair and then you put the wig on over that. They are very airy. They are very, they breathe. They are not hot. I've been wearing mine for an hour out here in the hot TV lights. I get hot very easily. I feel very, very comfortable. Um, so you've got e e everything you want. And by the way, you can play with these. Uh, as I say, you can sort of zhuzh these and you can even curl these if you have the forever year curl that Martino had that today special that sold out. I actually wanted to have this as part of the show, but they're all sold out um, because uh, synthetic wigs, they get their color, the curl on the cool down. So I've got a picture of me in many different wigs. I actually, this is, this gray was one of my all time favorite looks that I've ever done wearing a Gabor wig because that silver platinum color is so hard to get from a bottle. It is a very difficult color to keep because it gets kind of yellowy. But I thought that that was like a really chic look. But let's bring in our special guest. He is a celebrity hairstylist. Maybe you've recognized him from Bravo's uh, Tabitha Salon Makeover, but he's been a part of our HSN family for many, many years uh, and I was just and Martino so great to see you I wanted to get forever your curl because so we could show yeah. it with the wigs it's sold out on hsn.com my first question to you I, I know, know it's not even about this when is that product coming back as far as I know, we have another TS in November, so you've got some time that okay. you're going to have to wait. But, uh, but if, you if did, I can get my hands on one, I'll send you one. Right, but, but if you did buy it, you can use it on the Gabor wigs, correct? I use, yes, I have mine right here, and I used it in the crown today. So okay. I had it set on 320 degrees. So what Gabor has done with this XL fiber, it's a complete game changer in the wig world. It's so hard to typically curl a wig, but with the XL fiber up to 350 degrees, it's easy to curl it, flat iron it, blow it out, straighten it. I actually put a curl right here on the crown. You'll notice it's a little different than the one in your studio, mm -hmm. but you can make this your own. I love the way you described it. This is everyday hair for the everyday woman and you're not going to have that split in the back anymore you're gonna have that perfect volume it's going to hug your neck just like you said if you have a short haircut and you have to maintain every three to four weeks it can be exhausting and cost a fortune with the gabor wigs they don't grow so they look great out of the box give them a shake Put it on and you're out the door. Yeah, and sometimes you want to try like a bold new color, Martino. If somebody came to your salon right. and said, I want that platinum hair. Can't, <laughs> I mean, I know that really is super damaging, but it's like very, very stylish right now. 100%. And if you want to change your look without commitment, without damaging your hair, mm -hmm. as you said, or without breaking the bank, I tell people when you think about the essential collection from Gabor, think of it as an accessory, right? We change mm -hmm. our jewelry, we change our shoes, you change your handbags. You now can change your hair literally by just taking it, shaking it, and putting it on your head. And to your point, look how my fingers go right through it. It's so breathable, it's so lightweight. And you don't have to worry, if you have really thick hair, it's adjustable in the back. It's so simple to adjust. It's literally peel and go away from the tags to give you more room, 
go towards the tags if you need to make it a little tighter. They have come up with everything. And, and Martino, I would love to do a camera shot of all the colors, but I would love for you to talk through sure. the colors. Um, if, 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 you, if you can, if you can, I don't know if it's hard to do it from the Skype because it's not just one solid block of colors. Sure, so seven to 11 different shades in each one, even the gray, even the, the dark brown. Um, it is kind of hard for me here looking at the screen, yeah. um, but oh. it's kind of self-explanatory a little bit. You got the light blonde, you've got the medium blonde, you've got the dark blonde, then you've got the, I don't know what that color is right there. I can't okay. see. Okay, you know what? Uh, I, I've got, so the bottom row is dark brown, black, medium red, light red, brown and then light gray so there's the light gray that and let's do the top row again because I'll, I'll start out with the top row starting at the lightest blonde that's called light blonde then there's medium blonde then there's dark blonde then there's brown blonde then there's light brown and that's medium brown so there's the there's the colors. I, I really feel like I need to go over there. I know it's not, you can't see me that well, but <laughs> I just, uh, th this is, yeah, this is the light gray that I'm talking about. And this one has, this one is the color that I think a lot of people are asking Martino for that is very difficult to do. It's a very chic, very cool look to it. So I, I, I wanted to show you that. And, and this is the one that sells out first. So if you want to get yep. this one, right? And then I'd love to go to Ingerborg because she is, she wears these all the time. She's one of our top models here at HSN. But the, these are like super easy to put on, right, Inger? Yes, they are. I, that's one of the reasons why I love them so much. That it's so easy. One, two, three, and you're done. First of all, I love this wig because it's so simple. And the fact that this is short is classic. So I can wear this on a lot of auditions and I can just wear it when I want to. Look how it fits the nap of my neck. Oh my gosh. It's just so attractive and it's lightweight. And I'm just gonna show you really quickly how fast it is to do. Watch this, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna, that was dark gray that I had on and this is brown gray. I'm just shake it right out the box. And first I'm gonna pull it in cause my head is tiny. So I'm gonna pull <laughs> that in there. And then I'm just gonna pull it on, hold the front and pull it on. Look how easy that is. Style it with my fingers. One, two, three, I'm done, that's it. And like, you know, the other one I had it in front, like, you know, in front of my ear, but this I can push it right behind my ear and it just blends right in. Look how wonderful and nice and it's just So beautiful. Helen, do you see, how she, you, see how she, <laughs> you see how she tucked it behind her ear? That's how you know that you know this is really good quality. I mean, look at yeah. that right there. You cannot see the construction of the wig. Right. Yeah, and you know, it's funny, Martina, I said the same thing when I put this wig on. I said, my, one of my favorite things about it is the part. When you look at the yes. part, that's how you would say like, oh, is that a wig? You know, when you look, <laughs> you can go really close and look at the part, you don't see in like anything that, it just looks like you just had your hair freshly colored. That's- 100%. And, yeah, this is discretion, the one that I'm wearing, and this is gonna be coming up. There's so many ways that you can kind of like zhuzh it behind your ears, in front of your ear, some of it behind your ear, some of it, I mean, I, I just think that it is, it is really the wave of the future. This is something that I think a lot of actresses and people who work on television, newscasters, people that have to do their hair. You know, Martino knows this, that since the pandemic, they uh, said they thought it was unsafe for us to be that close to hair and makeup people. So they said, it's safe for you guys do your own. And a lot of us were like, excuse me? <laughs> we're like, oh. I mean, that is a whole other profession. That is, so it, a lot of us have gone to wearing wigs all the time everybody and and it's just easier yeah. right a hundred percent but look at francine i mean this is just stunning on her okay this looks like she really went to the salon they set her hair they curled it they did a little back combing they changed her color like she'd be there all day but her hair looks natural she's got it tucked behind her ears she got some coming forward it just is like that ready to face the world ready to have your confidence, ready to, to just literally feel the best woman you can feel because my grandmother always said, when your hair looks good, you feel good, and Gabor is giving you that hair for sure. 
I love that. All right, so 662562. All right, our next style is something that I think a lot of women have asked Martino. They're saying, you know, I love the idea of a wig, but I've got longer hair. Look at the colors. You can really see it in the shot. Look at all these different colors. Look how soft and natural that is. That looks amazing, right? So if you've got longer hair, then loyalty is like a fabulous, fabulous choice. Now, we styled it this way, but there's this one is really versatile. You can even pin it back. You can pin these back, like some of them up like this. You can do the bangs uh, different ways. You can even take this wig to your stylist, like whoever cut your hair, put it on, and they can trim the bangs however you like them. You can do a look where it looks like you've got an updo. I mean... And you're never gonna have to worry about, oh gosh, it's time to get my roots done. Uh-oh, I've got some grays. You know what, my hair doesn't look shiny today. I guess I need to do a mask or treatment to my hair. Your, your own natural hair will come back to life when you give it some breathing room, when you give it some Amen. time. Amen. Right, because I'm telling you, Martino, <laughs> yes. my hair, I've been brutalizing it by styling it myself. <laughs> No, you're 100% right. I always tell women, if you love your hair, it will love you back. And wigs do give your hair a break. And to your point, if you have long hair, keep in mind, you get a wig cap. Every single wig comes with a wig cap. So it's in this itty bitty Ziploc bag. So when you open that box and you're fumbling through the tissue paper, take your time, you're gonna find that. I don't know if we have the video that we play sometimes with the long hair and showing you how to split it into two sections and put it up. If we have that, Great. If not, uh, you'll be able to find it on hsn.com. But even if your hair is really long, you'll be able to. There you go. Perfect. Watch what she does. Two two ponytails. She twists one ponytail. She brings it all the way around up to the top of her head, puts one bobby pin. She takes the other ponytail. She's going to do the same thing, pin it up. And that's the complimentary wig cap that you get. She tucks all that hair underneath. And that was some long hair. And now she's ready once she puts that hairline just to her own hairline. Now she just plops it on, gives it a shake, and she's ready to go. So it doesn't matter how thick, how thin, how short, how long, Gabor will work for you. Yeah, and you never have to worry, like, I hope I, I hope I have enough time to do my hair, or I hope I don't have a bad hair day. I mean, a lot of people, uh, Martino, are permanently gonna be working at home and Zooming. Even, you know, you could just yes. do, do your thing, put your wig on, hey, do your business call, take it off, go back. I mean, it is, it is a must have, and I think more and more women are having this be just their go-to. And I'm, I'm gonna go over the colors and show you all. This one's the light blonde, but it's not just one color. You see all of the beautiful dimension. If you went to your hair colorist and said, I would like to have the base color done to cover my grays, then I want baby lights, and then I want this and that, you're talking about hundreds and hundreds, maybe three, four hundred dollars just for that one color, and you've got to come back in six weeks. So for $109, you're gonna be, you're gonna have like the gorgeous hair you've always dreamed of. So this is the the um light blonde, I'll start here. This is the one that I was showing you, the light blonde that is the lightest one, but it has, it's kind of more of an ashy hue to it. So if you, if you like blonde hair, and have more of an ashy hue. But if you have a little bit more of a golden uh, color, I, I would go with a medium blonde. This has more of a golden blonde. And next to that is dark blonde. So it's basically blonde. It's like if you had brown hair and you had baby blonde hair lights. There's only two dozen left in this style. And then we've got the um, dark blonde. And this has, I mean, I'm even seeing a little bit of, you know, kind of chestnut and blonde. And I mean, it's all sorts of brown all sorts of blondes in that. And then we're gonna go to the brown blonde, which is, oh, that's sold out in this one, okay. And then, the, so this is light brown, and then we've got, this one is called medium brown. So again, in medium brown, when I'm looking at it under the lights, Martino, it looks like it has some red to it as well, like a there's, little. Yeah, there's a lot, you know, I'm sorry. No, 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 go ahead, I want you to, come. I'm seeing some, am I right? You are seeing a lot of rich warmth in that in that wig and in that color. And what sets this Gabor collection apart from like an inexpensive wig um, or even some expensive wigs that just aren't made with the right quality, if it's the same color from your scalp to your tip, it just screams wig. And every single wig in the entire Gabor Essential Collection, each one has seven to 11 different shades. So to your point, the baby lights, the mid lights, high lights, low lights, Look at that, it's just, I mean, I'm watching this camera pan across these colors 
And I'm like thinking to myself, if somebody came in and said, make my natural color look like that, I'd probably cry and say 10 Hail Marys because it would take me all day. Those are tiny, 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 tiny foils that you'd have to put in. And they've nailed it to give you that perfect color, just the right amount of sheen. Because once again, you can spend $500, you can spend $2,000 on a wig. And I don't care who makes it. If it doesn't have all those different shades and it doesn't have the right amount of sheen not to look plastic, but not to look too dull, it's not gonna look right. And Gabor has done everything from A to Z, from the beginning to the end. You get the right amount of shine, you get the perfect color, and this is your chance to step outside, be a little, you know, different. It's kind of like liberating for, for a woman to be able to change her color without commitment. I mean, I see it every day. Last call on the light gray. We've only got about a dozen left. That's going. So here's Ingerborg wearing the loyalty. Tell us about this one. This one's versatile, right? I love that. It's so versatile. I love it. It's, it frames my face. And I love the fact that, like I said, I wear them all year round and I can do that because they're so lightweight. I like look how it's moving. I call it movability. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Wow. You know? Key, don't stop. Don't stop. It looks so good when right. you swing Don't worry it. about this it, is, it the wig coming off. Actually, no. Let me tell you. So I try to be cute. So I wore it on the boat. <laughs> and I thought to myself, maybe I should have pinned it down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it was blowing. He was going so I said, slow down a little bit, hon. But he was going faster and I thought my wig's gonna fly off. But you know what? It stayed on the whole time and I looked cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's the important thing. Ah, yeah, so yeah. I'm just saying, you know. You know, we went to the beach the other day with my sister and my brother. It was their birthday. They have the same birthday. And I, w I gave my sister a wig, one of the wigs for her birthday too, and she wore it. And I said, it's hot. She said, who are you talking to? You said that it's it's okay all year round. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and I said, okay. And she went to the beach. Let me tell you, she looks so gorgeous. And she was getting a lot of attention because she's single. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh -oh. And she looked good, and, and she said, you're right, Ingi. These wigs, Inger. you can wear them even to the beach. And she, Inger, and both my remember? sisters, they had on their wig, and they were too cute. They love it. Yeah, I love that light gray. I Look at you, that. So this you, is the color I gave her. Oh, my gosh. This is so stunning. Oh, look at that. That was so, really limited. There's only a couple dozen left, so. <laughs> just stepping out the box a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to damage your hair. And you know, look at look at that. Change the color. Look at that. I just love it. Yeah, and you know, um, and by the way, I here's me wearing that light gray too, in like a little longer style as well. I actually think Martino that this color is the most glamorous. That gr light gray. It, it really is. And on you and that picture that you just showed, that was like amazing. That was like iced out. It's the Pantone of 2021. And um, to Inker's point, you can wear them on a boat on the beach. I made my mother get in my convertible the other day and she wears Gabor wigs. She won't go out of the house. She won't let me see her without her wig anymore. She's like, she doesn't need me anymore. And mm. um, I said, mom, you're going in the convertible. She's like, I can't. I said, it'll be fine. And sure enough, her wig stayed on. So um, they're just amazing. I mean, Francine's wearing the same one and I love how she styled it different. It looks so beautiful tucked behind her ear. Yeah, She's so got cute. that little bit of like that flip because this is cut with like a blunt cut chin page boy bob but it's a little bit stacked in the back you've got a left part a gorgeous bang that you can wear to the side or if you want to have it trimmed by your hairdresser you can make it a fringe in the front and if you want to make this beach wave bob guess what 350 degrees a little bit of curl with forever your curl and you will have that beach mm. wave bob so they're really giving you everything you could ever want Francine, you look stunning. I don't know yeah, if you can hear Francine, me, but you look Yeah, Francine, you look amazing. younger in this wig than you do. I mean, honestly, <laughs> it really, it's, it's, there's something very, because let's face it, when we get older, our hair doesn't get more thick and lush. Or, it, it, I know for me, That's my hair's true. gotten thinner as that. I've gotten older, right? So this kind of gives yeah. you that youthful look. Sadly, the gray has sold out in the loyalty. We've only got a few hundred left of all the colors. So I told you that light gray is like always going to go quickly, but we're going to move on to our next style called Hope. And Hope, we, we've got this one, look at this. So Hope is a mid-length wig. So if you love that kind of PC, 
like the, the layered look in a mid length. This is, this is a great choice. And all of these are very, very versatile. So I can see this being styled in different ways and have it be a completely different look where you can put this, you know, behind your ear completely or some in front of your ear, some behind the ear. And they're very like, you can judge these. They're very, very, uh, you know, kind of like however you want them. But Martino, you said the first thing you do when you take it out of the box is you shake it. Just shake that thing. Take it out, shake it, let those fibers come to life, and then your fingers will do the rest. I have to tell you, this is probably one of the most sought after haircuts that comes into my salon. This was, um, I can't really say her name, but like Lisa R, for those of you that can pick up what I'm putting yes. down, no other way to say it. You know, this is her iconic haircut. And so many women that have this length hair come in with that same picture. I'm like, I know her, I know this haircut. <laughs> And you can have it right now. And this is a high maintenance haircut to have all this textured and razored and feathered out to give you that airy open movement. You're talking a lot of maintenance. You're talking every three to four weeks or it's just gonna get too heavy and not be able to give you this volume. But as you can see, I have not cut this right hand to God. I haven't cut this. I literally took it out of the box. When I got done work today, shook it out, put it on the mannequin head for you to see it. This is so chic and so fun. They did a really great job with this. You know, the other thing about this particular haircut, Martino, is it's hard to style it. Yes, yes, see, absolutely. This looks like, I was thinking that you must, we've been together a long time. You're like <laughs> reading my mind. I'm looking at this and I'm like, this would have to be set, pinned. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you know, like yep. they walk around with the rollers or, you know, you curl it, you pin it. That's what would have to be done. And I don't know about you, but I don't know anybody that's doing that every day, except for my grandmothers used to do that. But this is a new time now, you know? That was before computers and smartphones and people had more time on their hands, you know? But nowadays, nobody wants to spend a lot of time on their own hair. We're busy. Like you said, people are still working from home. We're Skyping. We're still Skyping our family members. And you want to look good when you're on your Skype, when you're on your Zoom. And I know for Inger, you know, as a model, when we really were in the heat of the pandemic, she was constantly on her Skype and Gabor saved her. Literally, I remember her telling me the last time I talked to her, she just couldn't thank us enough that Gabor really saved the day for her. Yeah, Inger, this is so oh, cute. Okay. Is it? Hello. <laughs> yeah, and I can see like in the back, like the little spikies coming out like that. Mm -hmm. That is not easy so nice. to do and to style. But the fact that the Gabor wig's like, I got you. We're going to go there. <laughs> We're going to stay there. Because I know this particular style is very cute, but it is a lot of, there's a lot of styling to create the look. But all you'll have to do is shake the wig and put it on. Right, Inger? Yes. What I love about this, I think this is so sexy. This is like, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's just fresh and new. So, you know, wanting to add something new to your wardrobe, to your hair wardrobe, and this is perfect for me because it's something a little bit different and it's something that you don't have to spend a lot of time with, you know, because this, no curls, it's straight. So I wanna just show you how easy it is. I'm gonna shake the red one. And this is dark brown, this is my true hair color. So stepping out of the box a little bit. And I've been wearing red lately, actually. So I'm just gonna I love hold. you in red. Oh, I love red. It, it brings out like kind of like a warm tone. And yes. I think it's like really pretty on you. There you go. And the thing about this one too, you know, here are the tabs on the side. So I'm gonna put, pull the tabs in to, towards, my, towards my ear and then just style it with my finger. And this, I just like do like that behind my ear a little bit. Bring that in front a little bit and just pump it up a little bit and then. So Inger, talk about the tabs real quick in case they don't know what they are. <laughs> What's that? She was busy, she was busy about the tabs? <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I saw. Uh, for the record, Inger was single when we started with Kapoor Not anymore. as a model. <laughs> and now she's got a man. So tell your sister to keep her wig on and maybe we'll get her married too. In the meantime, why don't you show everybody watching how and what these tabs are for that you talked about a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Can she hear me? <laughs> yes, we're gonna, yeah, go ahead and we're gonna go, answer. And, okay, and there we so go. There are there two go. tabs on the side here. I call them like my anchor. And so I like to point them, um, just push them in towards, going towards my face. That gives me, uh, 
you know, so I can They're center bendable. it, right? And then, um, of course, I have it pulled in tight because my head is little, but you can expand it if your head is a little bit larger. And then just finger style it with your hair, with your hands. And you know, what I love about this is, I mean, this is so different and look how sexy this is. I mean, this reminds me of that movie star with the red hair. Remember her? Look at that. Look, look. And Margaret. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> you just, you know, you have a different personality when you put on these wigs. Yes, and by the way, the light gray is flying out the door in this mm -hmm. one as well. So I know it's sold out in the loyalty, the light gray. So the light gray in the hope is also very, very popular. If you would like to get it in the light gray, you need to be in the ordering process. And by the way, I want to mention this. If you get the wig home and don't love it for any reason, you could return it. Uh, if you go to a regular wig store and walk in and buy a wig, you the minute you d put your credit card down and hold the bag away from them, you, you can't return it. Like, not even that you've backed out of the store. Just, but you can return these. We'll take them back if you don't love them. We want you to be happy. Martino, you've worked with wigs a lot, a lot, a lot. Right? You can't return a wig yes. if you buy it at a wig store. Not that I'm aware of. Absolutely <laughs> not. Any place that we ever get wigs from, if you know, like you said, if you go to a wig store, I mean, it's stamped clear on your receipt. No returns or exchanges. Yep. So this is a great gift that HSN and Gabor is offering to their customer. And I think it's really great because... Listen, I've been at HSN for nearly 10 years, and I know that it, collectively it's all of our goal for you to look and feel your best no matter what that is. And when you get it home, if your hair's long, see how she's separated her hair into two sections in the back, and she twists them into ponytails. And just with one bobby pin, it secures each ponytail to your head. Now, in your box is a little itty-bitty Ziploc bag, and in that bag comes your complimentary wig cap. You're going to put that over top of all your hair. You're going to push the hairline back to match the cap with your own hairline and put your wig on and run your fingers through it. And I wanna talk about the tabs that you see are grabbing. If those tabs are even in front of your ear on each side, you know the wig is on straight, you know it's on correctly, and then the rest is just have fun. You can use heat on it up to 350, you can use hairspray on it, treat it like your own hair. If something's too long, Take it to your favorite hairdresser. Let them cut it. Francine, you look fabulous. I love Francine in this one. And I like the highlights in it with Francine. I think it sort of brightens up her whole look. Is the Because the, all of these have all these different colors in them. So we've got um, all the colors available. The light gray, again, is in the lead. Very popular. And this is a great way to try a new color. I mean, if I have black hair and I come into a salon and I say I want to be blonde, and then I'm like, you know what? After two weeks, I come back in and I say, I don't want to be blonde anymore i changed my mind i want to go back to my uh, my regular color martino that's going to destroy your hair right it's the reason i have an ulcer today from women <laughs> like what you just said hypothetically oh, no. okay because these women they go from blonde to red they want to go blonde again i'm like no i love your hair more than i than i love taking your credit card i have to make sure your hair stays happy and you can't go from blonde to brown to blonde to red to blonde. Your hair just will never, ever, ever be happy. So with Gabor wigs, you're able to change your color, change your look. It doesn't matter what you're starting out with. It matters what you're going to end with. And you're ending with the Gabor Essential Collection. And I'm telling you, we have sold thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of wigs. to so many happy women. How did they're happy? Because I always give my email address if you have any questions or how you can fix the wig or which wig you should get. You can send it right to my phone, martino at martinocartier.com. That's what I check. I don't check my social media messages because there's too much spam, but you can always email me if you have any questions. And I'm sure you're going to really love the Gabor Essential Collection. Yeah, in this particular style, I can see people just asking you for this because there are some celebrities for sure. th that this is kind of their signature haircut. But then when Absolutely. they then they go to the salon, the stylist styles that cuts it and styles it, and then the next day they get up and you know they they can't recreate it. That's the other thing about this particular one uh, specifically. It is difficult to create this look, this style, if you don't have a wig that you just shake out, put it on your head, and go like. That you're done but it to blow dry your hair to put like you got to have rollers here to get the height here you've got to you know kind of flip everything out and then put gel in to get it i mean this is a kind of it looks like very easy and relaxed it's kind of ironic martino that this is a very easy relaxed kind of sexy fun style but there's a lot of work to create this you just jogged my memory shame on me this wig with the excel Fiber. If it gets wet, when it dries, it goes right back to this. 
there's no cuticle, so it can't get frizzy in the humid weather, and it can't go flat on rainy days. So I can't believe I didn't even mention that until now, but that's one of the biggest features and benefits of this wig. Again, I don't care if you live in Florida, Arizona, Las Vegas, or in New Jersey, where I am right now. There's no mm. element that can make this hair change its style. The only thing that could take the volume away, the flip away, the, the curls, the angles away, is heat at 350 degrees. Right. So, with that being said, you never have to worry about a bad hair day because it's never gonna frizz and never gonna go flat. I love it. All right, well, Martino is staying with us. We have another 30 minutes. Coming up next is Discretion, the wig that I have on. So stay tuned. We're gonna give you all the details after this quick message where we tell you about the Beauty Report, which I'm hosting tomorrow. <laughs> Discover a world of beauty like you've never seen before. Beauty Report is the insider's guide to getting gorgeous. Join me every Wednesday night for a beautiful new routine. Don't miss a thing with the HSN app. Get shipping updates sent straight to your phone when you turn on notifications. It's so easy. Go to your phone settings, then notifications, find HSN and turn on notifications. Download the app today. I'm so glad you're watching HSN. My name is Helen Keeney. I'm your host. And yes, tomorrow night, I am going to be filling in for Amy in the Beauty Report. She is on vacation and she's having a fantastic time. If you want to follow her on her Instagram, she's had lots of fun pictures. But speaking of Instagram, I'm going to do an Instagram live tomorrow at 4.30. I'm just going to do it from my house and I'm going to give you a preview of the items that are going to be coming up in the Beauty Report. So I've never done an Instagram live before, so hopefully I'll be able to manage it. So I look forward to having you guys hang out with me then to do this but we're going to talk about our next style which is called discretion and uh it's a long layered look but this one is very versatile as well so you're looking at it on the mannequin in front of me but on me it's like a very kind of different style like it looks like a, a little bit different I did like a little bit more height the crown all, I mean all you have to do is kind of like liven these up you know shake them out and then they have like this different look see already just by kind of judging it a little bit it, it, it has like a you can see all the great layers I mean, this, I, I really love the length on this. And again, you can wear this differently, if, just depending on how you kind of finger style this. But you get to see all those beautiful colors. So I'm wearing this exact color. I'm wearing the light blonde in this. So let me go through all the colors one more time. I want to start out with this light gray. This has been the star of the hour. Ever, this is sold out in the loyalty, the hope. It's very limited. We still have 150 left. So we're getting a final quantity in that. Um, then, then we have that dark gray color. So this is that really pretty uh, kind of, you know, if you want to do gray, but you want to do a dark gray, that's, that's the dark gray. Next to that is light red. And if you, this is, there's blonde in here. So it's red and blonde. And next to that is the medium red. This is one of the most difficult colors to keep. I was red. You guys maybe remember watching me on air. I did it for maybe three, four years. And what I didn't like about it is every time I took a shower and washed my hair, the red just, you know, went down the drain. It is very difficult to keep in your hair. I don't know. Martina will explain why. I have no idea why, but it's a tough color to keep. And then we have the two like brown and black. This is dark brown and this is uh, the black. So they're both, you know, can be, I actually, now that I look at them really close, I think these are switched. I think this is the black and this is the dark brown because I'm looking at them really close and I can tell the colors. But they're very, very close. But then when we go to the top, this is the light blonde that I'm wearing. And with the light blonde, you're seeing platinum. You're seeing, you know, 
at like an ashy blonde. You're seeing like lots of different colors. And next to it is the medium blonde. So if you want something a little more golden, I would go with this one. It has all different shades, lots of different shades. I think there's something like 11 different colors, but it has more of a golden hue to it. Then our next one is called dark blonde. So you've got... Um, browns and blondes and this is a little bit more of a warmer tone to it and then we go to the next one which is called brown blonde so think of this as somebody who has brown hair and then gets some blonde highlights and red highlights so there's baby lights in here of blonde and red with a brown base this one is going to look really really pretty it has a lot of color story in it the one next to it is light brown and both of these have a lot of warmth to it so this is a light brown and it's got some chestnut and, and warmth to it reds to it and then medium brown which is more like a kind of a true chestnut so uh, the, we whichever one you choose I think there's a couple ways to go at this you can pick the color that your hair already is and then you want to just wear it every day or you can go out of the box and you can think, you know what? I've never been red. I've always wanted to see what I look like. I'm gonna get it home. If you don't love it, you can return it, but wear it around. Go, go Now that you know the world is opening up a little bit, go out to dinner with your husband. See if he likes <laughs> having like all of a sudden a redhead in the house. <laughs> Ingerborg, am I starting trouble right now? <laughs> okay, I don't wanna do that. Martino, do you know what I mean? Like why not, as long as you're doing a wig, why not jump in? But answer me, why is red so hard of a color? to keep so the molecules of the red pigment are so large even if you use textile colors that they sit on top of the cuticle so what you were talking about when you said you wash your hair and you see it go down the drain that's not a metaphor that really happens and in our world we call it bleeding and if you have blonde with any any type of red pigment in your hair like that color you were talking about what happens as that color bleeds out of the hair it turns your blondes pink so if you see somebody walk around with pink highlights with red hair, they probably had blonde and that red would bleed. Now with the Gabor XL Fiber, the red never bleeds. It never fades. Your blondes never turn brassy. Your gray never turns yellow. So there's so many features and benefits. And this wig is a lot of fun. I mean, you look at this right now, you look at that light reflecting right there around my finger. That shows you the sheen of natural, healthy hair. There's nothing that says wig about this. You see depth. You see texture. This is a fun, flirtatious hairdo. So take the challenge if you're looking for fun and flirty. I love it. I love it. And you know, these are again so easy to style. I, I just, I just, I just love how you look at yourself and you're like, okay, that's me, but that's me with more hair than I've ever had, like really thick hair, and the color is perfect and really fun. And this is this is kind of I think this one is shorter but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing short short hair it feels like I, I do have length and it is versatile you know I think it's really cute when you kind of put it behind your ears like this or you can go like this and by the way that's where you know wow. again you're seeing that what looks I, so good but like you see like how great, great this wig is that you can't tell even d wearing it like this that that this isn't my natural hair it's just really really easy and I know Inger looks I think you look fantastic in this as well Helen, you look great. Thank, you know, thank you, Martino. And it's so easy to put on and it's so easy, you know, to style this. So we've got about four more minutes left in this style. Tell us about, the, this is the one that I've been wearing. Is this one versatile, Martino? It feels it. Yes, it's really easy to wear. It's basically a mid-length layered bob. It has side sweat bangs. Like I said, it's fun and flirtatious and it has razored, razored ends at the nape which gives you just that tousled, PC, fun, youthful look. So there's really not much you can't do with this. I have it tamed down a little bit right now just to show you a bunch of different ways. You have it tucked behind the ear. This is like perfect for anyone, all ages, all hair types. And honestly, I really think that this is an opportunity for you, those that have worn wigs before, or if you're new, get more than one color, have fun with it. I do probably somewhere around 25,000 wigs a year most of them are for people that are going through chemotherapy, but even those women that lose their hair and they're, they need a wig for medical purposes, they'll change their color because this is the only mm -hmm. chance they have, right? They've had the same hair through their whole life. They're like, you know what? I think I want red. And especially during the pandemic when their husbands would have to wait out in the car, I would walk the patients outside 
And when their husband would see them, like, oh my gosh, it's like having a new woman without cheating. I'm like, wow, that's, okay. that's a cool concept. I'm going to steal that line. But look at Inger. Look at Francine. I mean, these women look beautiful. They look like they just stepped out of a five-star salon. Uh, yeah, and again, this one is like, you feel like you've got long hair, but it's it's not, it's above your shoulders. It's But you've got some length to it. So I think it has like this, it, it, it's really fun. And I, I like that, you know, I'm doing it kind of like a dramatic, like behind the ears and then, but, but it's like, there's so many ways that you can wear this and you can make it more or less. This one has sort of like a swooshing bang, but if you want to take it to your stylist and make them like a little bit shorter, you can, it's really, really up to you. I, I do like it behind the ear, like a little bit like that, or even like this. You know, kind of really, really cute. It's just, it's. It, it looks it, so good on you. It, it's looks there's so something good. about having a, like this styled something glamorous about a wig. Wigs are very much back in style for all, all, all women. All you know, and I, I think that it's just this one more thing that's really freeing. So when this is kind of irritating, my husband will be like, "Okay, we're gonna go out to dinner." He'll be like, "Okay, I'm ready." I'll be like, oh, okay, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I gotta get out the, you know, the foundation and the mascara, and the, you know, it's like 40 minutes later. But wig, boom, okay, let's go. You know, you don't have to worry yeah. about, you know, the humidity, you don't have to worry about do I have roots or not, you don't have to style it, you just look perfect just like that. That's what we love. Absolutely. And I just wanted to show you real quick that I have this set on 320 and I was able to curl it. So like people take, uh, message me or they'll email me and they'll say, can you really curl these wigs? And you can see that I just put a little bit of curl real quick without a mirror just to show that yes, you can curl it. And then when you comb it out instantly, this, this volume that I just put in it, it's going to stay forever until I put heat on it again. It's not going anywhere. So I only did two little pieces just because we don't have a lot of time, but I wanted you to see that you can curl these no higher than 350, And you only have to curl them once until you want to change the style. Even if you wash it, and by the way, to wash it is really simple. You know, every few months, if you wear it every day, a little bit of water in the kitchen sink, a little bit of shampoo, soak it for five minutes, rinse it, let it air dry. This volume, that curl that I just put in, that bend right there, let me turn it so you can see it, that curl right there, that's going to stay until I put heat at 350 again. So nothing can take it out. One and done. Ingerborg Whoa. looks like a superhero in the light gray. <laughs> I really... I, I just I think that I am in love with that color. I just think it looks stunning. It's really a head turner. Don't you, Ingeborg, do, what do you think? It is, it, it is stunning and it's so hot. It's still hot. It was trending from last year and it just came right into this year. And even though it's summer, it's just continued to go on and on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it is big. I mean, everyone is wearing it. Young people, middle-aged people, old people like me, everybody's wearing it. Well, it's you, beautiful. You know, it's funny when you mm -hmm. say like older, like you and I, like, yeah. you, you, like <laughs> yes, it's both of us. Uh, it's it, like there's something about having mm -hmm. that thick gray hair. It's not like fine, like you don't think of it. It looks very youthful because mm -hmm. it's so much of it. Exactly. That's, that's what looks young about that. Look. Yes. And so look cool. how different its style is because I had it on in the dark brown and I style it differently. And just by putting it, tucking it behind my ear and combing the bang just a little further over, it looks like a completely different wig. So it's so versatile. You can just change it up and make it your own. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The item number is 737852. I've only got one more style left in our Gabor wig show. And the nice thing about this is you can get a couple of wigs and you could have your hair longer one day, shorter. Though I mean, you can see Ingerborg here on HSN. She's a model and you watch her in different fashion shows and her hair will look different. So this is the pixie cut. It is called Laughter. And this is a true pixie. I have had this haircut. As a matter of fact, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm the official Helen Keeney on Instagram. I'd love for you to follow me and like the page. I put up a picture of me from 1992 where I had this haircut. And I can tell you the problem with this haircut is every two or three weeks, it becomes a different haircut. Literally. You, right? Yep. And it was, yes. and I was, I was in New York and it was very expensive. I could not afford to keep, this is an expensive haircut because it, when it grows out, you've got to have it recut and restyled. But if you have the wig, it's like the perfect, it looks perfect every single time. 
So I, I really love this, but I, with the maintenance on it was just, it was exhausting. Uh, but I, I might even t attempt, since this is the last wig, I'm, I'm gonna attempt, I think I've got it over there in the gray. I might walk over there and give that a try. Here are the different colors. I'd love for you to do that where you went through each of the colors and then showed the graphic for the, oh, the color. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but I'm on your Instagram and you really did have a pixie. I can't take it. I love it. This is so great. Are you showing you that? That, that is me on. from the yes, 1990s. I'm showing the picture. That was a headshot when I started doing stand up. There I am. <laughs> and I did have I that exact. It. I told you I had that exact haircut, but it was too. Ex it was I couldn't afford to like I got it once and I was like, oh, I, th I thought I looked so great. But it was, you know, in two weeks I had a different haircut. So I couldn't maintain it. <laughs> so everybody can go this on there and take great. a look at it. Uh, so we're going to go great. through the colors, and I'm going to actually put this on, this wig on. I'm going to put this on in the, the light gray. So, Inger, t tell us how much you love this wig. You, you do some talking while I do some wigging. <laughs> in every color. This is my favorite. I know I'm not supposed to have a favorite, but this is my favorite wig. And I own it in every color. I like that it's so uh, light, of course, all the wigs are light, but I like that it's so simple and um, it just refreshes my face, it frames my face and I like the way that it looks. It, there's a star that wears her hair like this all the time and so I think that's why it's one of my favorites. But I just like that it's so simple and that when I put it on, I really don't have to style it. So I just take my finger, this is just what I did, and do like this and I, by the airs, I just fix it like and then I'm done. And that's why I like it so much because it's easy. One, two, three, and I'm done. And I love the way it hugs my neck in the back. It's just really close to my neck. And it just looks, it just looks like my real hair. First of all, it's the same color as my hair. And my hair is growing out now, so it's just a little bit longer than this. But most people think that this is my hair when I wear it. They say, my hair, you're, I like that haircut on you. That's really nice, Ingeborg. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> All right, I think I have my, uh, I think I have my pixie down here. But you know, you know, it's it's all coming back to me how how to how to style this. So uh, again, oh gosh, I just I pop it. this on, and I think honestly, this is one of my favorite colors to when I like kind of go out of the box with a color. I just think that th there's something really like. Uh, glamorous about it, but to have my hair colored this color would be so damaging to my hair. And then this style, I could get it cut like this, it would look cute for about a week or two weeks maybe, and then it'll grow out again. But here you go. <laughs> There's me. It is the easiest, yeah. this is the easiest short haircut that you will ever have. It's universally flattering, okay? It's gonna look great on anyone, but it's the easiest cut, why? because there's no maintenance. And Helen, to your point, this is a two week haircut. It's like a men's cut. Yeah. My son gets his haircut every 10 to 14 days because it's gotta look fresh, it's gotta look great, it's gotta look perfect. This haircut is so much maintenance when it's your natural hair, but with Gabor Essential Collection, the Laughter Pixie Cut is the perfect, easiest, short haircut you will ever have, par none. Yeah, all right, I've got some updates. Last call in brown blonde and brown gray. So, yeah. you know, I look at, it's interesting when I see myself on, on camera and everything, it just yeah. gives you a totally different vibe. Like when you change your hair, but if, if I decided to cut my hair like this and then maybe yeah. I decided the next day, well, maybe I don't love it, I, I gotta wait about five years <laughs> to get my hair long again, <laughs> but not with a Gabor wig. I mean, this is this is like a very uh, kind of sexy, sophisticated. I've got my Connie Craig Carroll earrings, and I just it's just like I love the way you see your jewelry when you've got your hair short because I love jewelry. And you've got the same color on. <laughs> We're twinning. <laughs> I'm twins with you. Yes. <laughs> and I just love you so much, by the way. She's so much fun. We just have so much fun here. We do. Changing our hair. Yes. Telling jokes. Yes. Playing. Yes. It's like, you know, when you're a little girl, you play grow, uh, grown up and you just change, you wear your mom's things in her pocketbook. And so now we can just change our hair. I love that we can change the styles and the colors so easily. And look at the same style and it's, I mean, the same wig, and we just style it differently. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love. I can just push it back. Look at that. You can't even see that in the front, you know? And then I can just great. bring it yeah. back close to my face. And look, it just changes the style. 
Yeah. I really this like, this is one of my favorite, like if you're gonna mm -hmm. go short, I feel like go shorter, go home. I think there's something really <laughs> cool about this. And it's it's just really easy to, you know, I know I'm doing this upside down and backwards with the style of it, but it, you you will you will love it. You will just love this. You know, I, uh, you can see how I'm just sort of finger styling it and, and look, it's just it's just really gorgeous. It's just really, all you, and, and one of the things is you see, it's not all one color. It's lots of different colors in here. So that that's what gives it the very kind of sophisticated, glamorous, and you know, even like my eyebrows are not the this, this same color, but it kind of makes my eyebrows look like a little bit more like, you know, glamorous when you've got that, when you've got like this silver hair. It's just that platinum-y color, that silver platinum color. You, again, you see that on Instagram a lot. That is a hard, this, this style and this color right here is very expensive. This would be hundreds Absolutely. of dollars every four weeks. Hundreds. And it would be a lot of maintenance and a lot of purple shampoo in your bathroom just to keep it up. Yeah. But listen, on a side note, your eyebrows are never supposed to match your hair unless you are dark like me or you have natural red hair. They, no, they don't match. Don't, don't, don't worry about the hair matching your eyebrows. You'll never see a blonde walking around with blonde eyebrows, right? They would just disappear. Yeah, right. So true. it's okay to, to not. It's okay to not match. But um, this is so much fun. Look how much volume I was able to put in the laughter. And then you look at Francine. Hers is, again, completely different. So you can take this home and personalize it. When you get it out of the box, just give it a good shake. It's completely adjustable. So don't send me an email and say, will it fit over my big head, my little <laughs> head, my medium head? Because right. I'm telling you, it's adjustable. And then you're going to say, is it heavy? I'm going to say, no. It's extremely lightweight. There's nothing to it. And then you're going to say, is it hot? I'm gonna say, here's my fingers coming through. It's completely breathable. So all the things you thought about the wigs that like my grandmother used to wear before I found Gabor, it's not my grandmother's wig. This is 52 years of innovation. 1968, they started with the real original Eva Gabor. And since the, quickly, by the way, within a year, they became the world's largest wig manufacturer. So. You think about it. If you've been doing something for 52 years, you become really good at it. And that's why I'm so proud to be a part of the Gabor Essential Collection. Yeah, and by the way, it's very popular. I do have some updates. We've sold out of two colors. Brown blonde is gone. Thank you for your calls and orders. And brown gray just sold out. But the light gray that I'm wearing, Kevin, do we still have some left? I just want to say we do. Okay, so we do have some of the light gray left. So what color are you putting on right now, Inger? This is medium brown. Medium brown. Okay, I love that color. Isn't it nice? This is yeah. my true hair color too. So most people think when I wear this, this is my hair. Yeah, I was gonna say, same with Francine. Mm -hmm. I thought it was, this. Look at that. The, you were in the brown, it, it just looked light brown. Yeah, Fran, the one that Francine had on looked like exactly, I thought, is that, that looks so much like her hair. I was like, did she mm -hmm. take a wig off? I mean, I was like, very, <laughs> right? It looks like that's only, mm -hmm. it's her hair styled perfectly, mm -hmm. you know, colored perfectly, like fresh color, fresh cut, fresh mm -hmm. style. And that is laughter. By the way, the laughter is very, very popular. Very, very popular in this show. Uh, I Again, I know you're gonna love it. And I know you're gonna say, I can't believe this wig was only $109. You, Martino, wigs can be, and I'm not exaggerating, you can spend 20 grand on a wig. I, I, I mean, when you look at the you celebrities on tour, superstars. You, listen, the average price of a decent wig is around $5,000. And they still can look like wigs. I, how I got started doing wigs is because one of my dear friend's mother had cancer and she spent about five grand on a wig and it was the same color, solid, one color only, like paint, like shoe polish, one color from the part all the way to the end. And I said to my friend, I said, I said, why, why can't we get your mom something a little bit better? And he said, she spent five grand on it. And it was that, it was about 10 years ago when that happened, almost 11. And that's when I started doing my homework and I realized what it took to make a wig not look like a wig. And the first thing is, you need multi-dimensional color mm -hmm. and seven to 11 different shades in every single color from the Gabor Essential Collection. So you never have to worry about looking like paint or shoe polish or a marker It's or a Halloween costume. I mean, this is like perfect hair, leaving a five-star salon, leaving HSN's warehouse, going right to your door. So uh, cheers to beautiful hair in 2021. I love it. Well, thank you, Martino. And I know you're actually going to be on again tomorrow at 11 p.m. with me. But I think you have a show yeah, earlier right. in the day tomorrow, too. 
I think two o'clock. Two o'clock. Okay. All right. I'll see I you think. tomorrow night, right after the beauty report. So maybe you'll see some wigs in the yes, beauty report. Sure. Maybe I'll pop a couple on. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good, good to see goodbye. you. Good to see you too, my love. All right. So keep shopping for your uh, Gabor wig. Thank you, Francine. Thank you, Ingerborg. We're gonna do a, a little mention about what we're doing this month in honor of Pride Month. HSN is partnering with the NRF Foundation to shine a light on some of the LGBTQ plus owned small businesses that are at the heart and home of our communities. This initiative is part of our ongoing company-wide efforts to promote diversity, equality, and inclusion. And today we're featuring a brand called Mina. Here's a little more about it from the founder, Sarah Burks. Take a listen. Hi, I am Sarah Burks, the founder, creative director, and CEO of Mina. When I first started the company, the inspiration behind it was to create a business that used design to create positive impact in the world. What we're trying to solve now is really trying to shift the way the artisan sector is perceived in the home industry and to make improvements in our supply chain to make the business as sustainable as possible. The intention with Minna is to make products to fill every room in your home. You can really use any of the products as building blocks. So you could start with a tea towel and then grow to a throw and then grow to a rug. And that the products are really meant to be mixed and matched. And you can really build and add to your collection over time. Being an entrepreneur, I think, has completely changed my life. You really have to learn a lot about yourself when you're leading and when you're leading through experiences that you might not know. Um, I think being a woman in business has taught me a lot. I think being a queer woman in business has taught me even more. Um, and it's really the lens at which I approach running the business. Well, we've got Mina, uh, we've got uh, Sarah, who's the owner of Mina, live here on Skype. And uh, so Sarah, hi Sarah, sorry. So Sarah, before the show, I went on your website. So it's Mina uh, slash goods.com, right? To, for everyone Mina, at home. Yeah, Mina hyphen goods.com, exactly. Mina, so I'm saying Mina. Okay, Mina, because I haven't heard it said out loud, <laughs> okay. so I apologize. Minagoods.com, and I went through the website, and I, I, it's very like pillows, and you know, there was everything from cutlery to home, and there were some rugs that I thought, you know, if I just get that one rug, it would really kind of like change the room. I feel like I could say that about a lot of the pieces on your website. Is that the intention of the brand? Yeah, I mean, I think our pieces can really be either a statement or they can be a little bit more subdued and you can go the more traditional, like, matchy-matchy route or you can get a little bit more eclectic. Yeah, and it's it's mostly, uh, it's a, it's an online business. So how did you guys fare during the this last year, which was, I know, so difficult for so many businesses? Yeah, it was, it was an interesting year for sure. Uh, we actually also have a storefront in Hudson, New York. So that was closed for a couple of months, but online was really busy. I think everybody was at home thinking about how to make their homes more cozy. So we actually did okay. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic, Sarah, because I feel like everybody did do that. They sort of said, well, this is going to be all I'm going to look at for who knows how long. I might as well <laughs> yeah. uh, zhuzh it up a little bit. And, and I think that, and I also found your, everything was very aff affordable, too. So you really could get something that really had a big impact. And it, it, was, a very it was very curated, too, because I felt like it was very kind of earthy. And it made me feel like it was close to the earth. It, it was at the vibe vibe that I was getting from your materials? Yeah, I mean, we, we source natural materials and sustainably sourced as much as possible. And we also use a lot of natural dyes, especially in our rugs. So it makes sense that that would have an earthy <laughs> grounding feel. I, I, well, Sarah, I'm so happy that you are part of our HSN family. I'm going to tell everybody how to shop and go to the website, and I hope you guys are so busy <laughs> from this uh, promotion that we're doing, <laughs> spotlighting your business and how you're, we're doing with Pride Month as well. So thank you so much for taking thank the time. Thank you so much for having me. We're, we're delighted to have you, and I would like to, to everyone, this is how you get to Sarah's business, is you go to our website, hsn.com, and do Small Business Spotlight. That's what 
what you put in the search to learn more about this business and other businesses, small businesses that we are featuring. Check out other diverse and inclusive businesses that are part of our HSN community. Shopping these diverse and inclusive businesses is a great way to support our communities. We will be highlighting a variety of diverse small businesses throughout the year, particularly in connection and awareness and with these historic months, these history months. So we're going to keep shopping here at HSN. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm filling in for Amy at the Beauty Report. And then I've got Gabor Wigs tomorrow as well at 11 p.m. So see you then. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Love reading reviews from fellow HSN shoppers? Reviews help everyone shop smarter, so share the love. Find the perfect legging? One-of-a-kind necklace? Go ahead, dish. Search Write a Review at hsn.com to learn how to leave a review from your HSN account. We may even use it on air. All of our reviews are from real HSN customers and verified purchase.